Hi, Gene Burnett from GeneBurnett.com. Chilly early spring day here in Southern Oregon. Hey, I thought today we'd talk a little bit about um, love more, fear less. Um, no, I'm not going to get all new agey on you. As some of you may uh, know me, uh, as some of you may know who know me, um, one of my mottos, my Tai Chi mottos and my life mottos is um, flow more, force less. Uh, I'm not a big believer in zero force or no force. I think no force moments happen in life periodically, but I think to try to do that involves force. So I always think I keep my bar low to the ground, something that I can accomplish. And that is I can always flow a little bit more and force a little bit less. So if I'm doing a movement, I can flow more into that movement and force it a little bit less, especially martially doing pushing hands and martial stuff. I'm not saying use no force, like you're not going to use any force. If I didn't use any force, I'd fall on the ground and I'd be a puddle. But use a little bit less force, less hard will. I mean less brute force is what I really mean. Less brute, willful force. Sometimes you just have to. I mean, you're in a position where that's the only thing that's going to work. And I get it. Um, but in general, as an everyday life thing, as a day-to-day, moment-to-moment way to live, I'm always looking for how I can be more efficient, how I can be more graceful, more relaxed, more comfortable while I'm doing what I'm doing, and less forceful, less tense, less hard, less push, less like just willing myself through something. Doesn't mean I'm afraid of effort. It's not, it's not so much about effort, but it's like hard effort, the kind where you're just really, you know, flow more, force less. A nice little Tai Chi motto. Um, use less force is another way to put it. See if you can use less force and, and get the get the result. You know, less force but still get the result that you want. And lately, I've been thinking in terms of fear, and you know, there's a kind of fear that I think is really good. If all of a sudden a, a bear comes around this corner and attacks me, like I'm gonna that kind of fear, the kind of fear that mobilizes you for action, and lifts your shoulders and tenses the muscles that that would uh, help you run or help you fight. That kind of fear is good. That's a self-protective body um, uh, response that is not your enemy. That is good stuff. If you're walking down the street and somebody suddenly jumps out and you up, you know, that's your body saying, oh, my, my vital organs are retracted and I'm, and I'm you know, ready to protect myself. Where that kind of fear goes wrong, I think, or can be damaging is where you hold on to that pattern or you hold on to that response after the event is already over. So a bear comes and I do this, and then I walk around like this all the time, you know, that's obviously not any good anymore because I'm in a fearful, angry, or ready to run response when there's nothing happening that's, you know, doing that. So this is not so good to walk around like this all the time. And when I first started Tai Chi, I was a pretty scared dude. And my shoulders were up here all the time, and I had to really relax them over many years to get them to just soften and relax and find a neutral spot where they can lift and be ready to protect me or I can pick up a baby, you know, and be nice and soft, you know, there's different things in life that demand different stuff, right? So there's another kind of fear though that's different and it's more subtle and it's not up in the it's not up in the shoulders. It's not mobilizing your flight and fight muscles. It's up in the belly. It's up under the solar plexus. It's in the gut and it's around your heart, it's up inside there. And some of that, I think, is just the existential uh, dilemma that we humans find ourselves in, being self-conscious creatures um, in a world where we know we're going to die, and we know more and more and more about the endless, endless cycling of nature and how every species, every planet, every solar system has its, has its moment and then it changes into something else. Everything's mortal. Everything, nature abhors forms in a sense because it's always grinding up whatever form it creates to form another one. I mean, the me that came up here and started this video isn't the same me I am now. I'm in a different form. And someday all this carbon and all this um, nutrients and stuff that I, I'm living in will be someone else's or something else's. So there's a certain existential fear that just comes from that. And I don't know if it's possible to get rid of that. But there's other, form, there's other forms of fear that come from contraction and worrying and thinking about what might happen in the future and what I might lose and what might happen to me. And 
the kind of anxiety and fear, it's like from traumas and childhood traumas, if you've ever been abandoned as a young person, if you've ever had bad things happen to you, like really bad stuff, there's a, there's, there's a, you, you'll, there's a knot in there. And it can be so unconscious, it, it can be like water to a fish. You, you might not even notice it's even there. But if you breathe and soften and listen into your body, um, maybe you can feel that, maybe you can feel that in there. And if you can just let go of a little bit of that, breathe into a little bit and let it go, man, I think you'll feel more love and more acceptance and more openness in your life. You can accept yourself as you are and not be so hard on yourself. You can um, accept the world and the people in it a little bit more. It doesn't mean that you don't get mad at things you don't like. It doesn't mean that you don't um, have emotions. It just means that you're just, you know, less fearful and less um, quick to judge and less quick to anger and more accepting, even of things you don't like and things you disagree with. You can just be more accepting and more, more open to them. Um, I find that as I release that fear, that I do feel a little more love in my heart um, for myself and for for, for the world. Um, that fear, though, it can be really easy to ignore, especially when um, the world around us, especially the advertising world, is constantly telling you, this will feel better if you buy this, smoke this, drink this, eat this, get this, get this, get this. And yeah, you'll feel better for a minute. And then you got to get another one. There's this endless quest to, to, to deal with this fear from the outside world from getting something. Anything but feel it. If you feel it, it's a whole different world. I'm not saying that distractions like movies and recreational drugs and, and fun things are, are something that you shouldn't do. But if you're doing them to fill this hole in here or to untie this knot in here, um, they just don't work, at least not in my experience. You need a bigger one and you need a better one and another one and another one and another one and you're just running on anxiety. So I really recommend breathing into this spot releasing a little bit, letting it go a little bit so that it can soften and relax and just, we can just be a little more open and a little more, a little more uh, accepting of things and a little more okay with ourselves, a little bit less prone to instant distractions. So flow more, force less, love more, fear less, you know, just a little less, a doable goal, not like saying no fear and it's not saying no force, it's just saying, eh, see if you can use a little less. See if you can feel a little, you know, breathe into it, release a little bit of that fear, feel a little more love. I think your life will be a little better. Your Tai Chi will be a little better. Relationships will be a little better. And your life will be a little better. At least that's what I think. If you've had any experiences with this, please uh, comment below. Or if you uh, try it and things change or shift for you, for the better or for the worse, I'd love to hear about it. So if you like this kind of thing, please subscribe to GeneBurnett.com. Visit my website. Oh, sorry. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Visit GeneBurnett.com. And, uh, yeah. Maybe we can all stop racing a little bit and just calm down a little bit and kind of be with what the hell is actually going on. Thanks for watching.